home for all you can eat shabu shabu. Shabu shabu. I just really like saying that word. In Japan, is a really normal family, college student kind of meal to go for. And you better believe we're gonna get our money's worth. Shabu shabu. Here's the download. When you come to a shabu shabu restaurant, you can order just pork, just beef, or beef and pork, which is obviously what we did. They also have different rankings of like cheapness. Let me tell you guys, it is buttery and fatty and very delicious. Shabu shabu is actually a Japanese onomatopoeia, one of my favorite words ever. It actually means swish, swish, and that's supposed to be the amount of time that you actually spend in the pot. I don't know about you, but I have never heard my meat make a shabu shabu sound when it's in a pot. Is shabu a verb? If you play basketball and you like shoot something, you'd be like, shabu. Or do you say swish? Like if you're in Harry Potter shabu, and they say swish and flick, would you be like, shabu shabu flick? These are all important questions that we need to have. Very answered. important. Uh -huh. So here we have a piece of completely raw meat. This is going to be eaten in probably under 20 seconds. Are you ready? Dump it in. Say the magic words. You're supposed to say shabu shabu, but two swishes is not enough. I like to go for three. It's nice and brown all the way through now. Let me see no pieces of red in there. Good. Oh yeah. And now that's ready to eat. Dip it in the sauce that I want to making. Just got some spices in here. Mm. Let's talk vegetables. At an all-you-can-eat Shabu Shabu restaurant, there's usually two options. One where you have to order vegetables off the menu and they bring it to you, and that kind of sucks because they can be like slow because you're paying for 90 minutes. But this place, you could actually head over to the buffet table and just pick out whatever you want. So we picked two different kinds of broths today. We picked the donkotsu broth and also the sukiyaki broth. The sukiyaki broth actually comes with a raw egg. You're supposed to crack it in your dish. Then you dip your meat in the broth and you dip it into the raw egg. This is how you eat the sukiyaki version. Mm. And it's wonderful. Oh yeah. Well, we went through about 16 trays of meat and we have three tiny pieces of pork left and Simon has tapped out as expected. Just because he's a big guy does not mean he can eat a lot of meat. The way I see it, we still got 20 minutes. I could take a 10 minute nap, come back refreshed and eat some more meat. You gotta get your money's worth when you come here. Don't worry, Ducky. I will finish off this pork for the both of us and then I'll be totally stuffed and unable to eat any more meats and I'll move on to like making a noodle soup. Paid money, have to eat more. Must eat until I hate myself. Not there yet. Oh, so you can't eat any more meat, but you can eat ice cream. I have some ice cream. I have some ice cream. If you want to know more about Shabu Shabu, we got some more tips on our blog post. Make sure you click on the link here and you can learn more about the magic of Shabu Shabu. And ice cream. <laughs> so bad. Shabu <laughs> shabu. Oh yeah. Oh you can eat shabu shabu.